Hello everyone, Model Car Guy Rich here, and today I've got an unboxing of a 61 Impella SS409 from Lindbergh. If you recall, a recent video I did was the SS Impella uh, 61, same year as this one. This one here was the AMT kit, and while I was doing this one, I mentioned that I had another one, and, and this is it. So I went and uh, dug this out of my stash, and... Uh, Decide I'm going to do the unboxing today and then compare it with the other one if I see any uh, anomalies in, in the uh, two kits. I'm kind of curious myself. So we'll go ahead and get this one set up. And this is again Limburg uh, 125 scale, a kit number 72163. This one is skill level 2. And the other kit. I don't think it mentions the uh, skill level on that one. No, it's not on the bottom. Well, yes, yes, here it is. It's also skill level 2 on, on this one. So, I'll go ahead and tear this one open. I'm going to go ahead and dump everything out on the table here because the box doesn't like to stay open. Wow, very similar. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of similarities. May even be the exact same kit. So I'll put that one there. You can see that. Right off the top we have the glass. Actually, they always put the Lindbergh always put their stuff in a bag, but they don't seal it. Here are the uh, front windshield and the rear glass. Actually, this is the front glass because it has the vent windows, and this is the rear glass. Then we have the four headlights again, and these two little what I thought were marker lights are actually the reverse taillights because they're clear and then we have the red transparent clear on this uh, little tree here <coughs> excuse me it's uh, basically identical to the other kit go ahead and put that in there I'm gonna put those in there with it and here's a little decal sheet Different plates and the uh, the decals are a little different from what I remember. This one here says Chevy 61 and Impala Imp 1961. North Carolina and the uh, plates, uh, the far left one is Michigan. And then this one here above my thumb is uh, North Carolina. And we have similar decals for the... I don't know why you don't need a magnifying glass for that. Uh, the uh, speedometer and the little Chevy emblem there and 409 and that. That was similar to the other kit. But I think the uh, license plates were different. Set that there. And this kit only comes with four tires where the other one came with uh, two slicks. Are these good years as well? Yes, they are. Good your tires. Don't know if you can focus on it. Right there, you should be able to read it. Decent tread. Very similar to the other kit. Here's the uh, chrome tree. You know what? The the other kit is right here. I'm gonna <laughs> and it's upside down. Let's see if I can uh, find the chrome tree. Oh, excellent! The chrome tree's right on top on this one. It's on the ground. Let me see how these two compare to each other. Well, guys, they uh, they appear to be identical. Yep, the bumper's in a different placement on this one compared to that one. The license plate sticks out, and this one here, it's tucked under. And this is the AMT version, and this is the Lindbergh kit. Yeah, other than that, they're identical. Okay, so I'll go ahead and set, the, oh, I'm sorry, uh, front grille, front bumper, rear bumper, standard hubcaps with the little spinners that go in there, and then these are for the steel wheels, I believe, they're the, the, uh, like the dog dish caps, we'll see if those are 
included in this kit also. They have the windshield wipers. Um, I don't know what that is. That door handles. These are the door handles. A little tough to see. They're actually on the side. Uh, the little uh, fender uh, front. These little deals right here. Whatever you call those. Side mirrors, just like the other kit. Uh, rear view mirror. Here's the body of the Limburg kit. Very nice, nice thickness. Very similar to the other one. I would say identical to the other one. Let's see here. This here is the AMT kit, and this is the Limburg. They are, I'm going to say they're twins. They're exactly the same. Same rear ends. Yep, I'd say it's the exact same kit, guys. So far. So, put the body there. There's the bag for it. And we have one bag of uh, taped up, like Lindbergh is uh, famous for doing, or was famous for doing. <laughs> I honestly don't even know if they're still in uh, business. Here is the door panels. Nice detail. Almost nothing on the floor pan. Here's the chassis. Again, almost identical. Maybe it is identical. Firewall. The roll pans for the front and rear. These, uh, let me see here. The top one here is the uh, AMT kit, and the bottom one is the Lindbergh kit. And they are basically carbon copies. Okay. Dashboard. Well, oh, I'm sorry. On this one here, there's firewall, rear uh, roll pan for underneath the bumper, front uh, roll pan for under the front bumper. Yeah, this is the uh, same radiator core support with the radiator built in with that cool little. Uh, radiator cap that sticks up above it's just like the first kit there's a rear seat where that neat little chrome thing will go here's the dashboard all very similar hinges exhaust steering gearbox drive shaft rear backings for the wheels steering wheel and little blocks again for the uh, front wheels to attach to they they could actually be just chunks of steel or chunks of wood even not much detail to those um, water pump and pulley I mean uh, water pump and timing chain cover little battery coolant line starter uh, this thing again I, I forgot already what that was in the first kit Here's the generator rear uh, portion, more coolant lines, steering column, front suspension, rear suspension, rear end, coil springs, shock absorbers, and this here was the uh, transmission cross member. And here we have a nice engine, be a 409 with the transmission attached, oil pan with the uh, oil filter attached, molded in, distinctive heads for the 409 and the 348. I had forgotten about that one, but they're calling it a 409, so that's what we're going with. One uh, intake manifold. I think the other kit had two intake manifolds. Hold on a sec. I could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. That was another kit that had two manifolds. 
Those two trees are similar. But look at there. there. There's a difference, finally. All right, this is the AMT kit. Came with two different air cleaners. The standard 409 looking fancy air cleaner. And then a regular air cleaner. And this one has a larger air cleaner that is just the 409 style without the extra single one. And everything else matches up pretty much identical. That's crazy. So here we have the valve covers, exhaust manifolds, fan belt and pulley system. This little piece here is the cover for the heater box that goes on the firewall. Little uh, fan shroud. And these wheel backs are solid, whereas the AMT kit, they have holes through them. That's interesting. Huh. And here's the hood, the underneath of the hood for the Lindbergh kit. The front seat and the back of the front seat. That's it for parts. So, slight differences. Now, this may be the kit. I may have been mistaken. This may be the kit that people said they had fitment issues on. Because I've heard good stuff about... Uh, you can't see it in the picture there. I'm sorry. This kit here, the video I did the other day, I had thought that the, uh, there was talk of this having fitment issues. But it may have actually been that kit there. And, and this one came out in 1996. And I don't remember what year this one came out. I said it in the video, but it's not listed on the uh, box. And then we have the instructions, which are build your engine. Here, I'll pick the uh, camera up here to make it easier for you guys. There we go. Putting your engine together. Three steps, it looks like. <clears throat> And then we're going to put it into the chassis, put that little cross member in right there, put your exhaust pipes on. Step seven is putting the rear end together, real nice. Eight is some goofy uh, kingpin uh, block things there. Nine is your seats. Oh, this and that. Okay, wait a minute. They don't talk about the little chrome piece that goes in the back window. I mean, uh, back window, in the back uh, seat there. That's not on here. Oh, yes, it is right here. Here it is right there. They don't talk about putting that in there yet. Let's see if I go along further. No. That's interesting. The directions are, are a little different. And here's the body. The battery and all that good stuff. The heater box right there. There's where it goes on your firewall to the uh, passenger side. Master cylinder was that other goofy little thing. I couldn't figure out what that was. There's uh, that. These instructions tell you how to put your headlights together. Oh, front valance, they call it, not a roll pan, sorry. There's your front bumper. Putting all the little bits on, little goodies, all chrome pieces. Here's your tail lights. Putting the wheels and tires on. Alright. Now in the other kit, the AMT kit, you had the option of having rear racing slicks, where this kit does not have that. This is more of just a stock version. And there, here it tells you what the decals are. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I've seen that in the other instructions. But that's that. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and grab out the other instructions. Give me just a second, guys. I didn't think there was going to be that many differences. If you hear a crash, it's all the plastic falling down. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, the instructions are a bit different. This one here, even the, the size is different. Look at that. Even the size of the instructions is different. There's the uh, Lindbergh kit. Here's the AMT kit. And then the final pictures, they tell you your body part and colors and that, and uh, the chart on what to paint. And here, gives you paint and decals and gives you other decal information which is not on this um, AMT kit. 
Yeah, the, the instructions are a bit different. Kind of compressed, you know. There's Limburg stuff where you get uh, 14 steps in the beginning and, and, and 15 on this one. That's funny. But yet, step 14 is still step 14 here. Wow. All right, seven is a seven. That's crazy. Crazy. All right. Then we got up to step 18 on this one and 18 on this one. They just shrunk everything down, it looks like, and fit it all into a, you know, single fold paper. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the uh, Limburg 61 Impala SS 409 compared to the AMT uh, 61 Chevy Impala SS, which also has the 409. Alrighty, there you go. As promised, I told you I'd get around to doing it, so I decided to do it right away so I wouldn't forget. I want to thank you all for joining me. Hope you have yourselves a great day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Model Car Guy Rich out. Keep on modeling.